So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and it is, it's covered bridge time again down there. We're currently in Franklin County. I did some filming over in uh, Fulton County earlier today. So on my way home, well actually before I headed out today, I did some research obviously to see is there any covered bridges in Fulton or Franklin County. There's none in Fulton County, but there's two here in Franklin County. So we'll check these out. I know the last one we did was in Berks County. I was thinking I was gonna get all the ones done in Berks County, but I was here in Franklin County today, so why not do... There's only two here in Franklin County, and they're uh, they're pretty close to each other. So we'll get these knocked out. And this one's going to be pretty cool, actually. It's a new... It's a different design from the ones we've seen before. So let me turn around so we can actually see the bridge. <laughs> and so down there is the bridge, and it is a long one, too. Uh, 205 feet is what I read. So I think that makes it the second longest covered bridge in Pennsylvania. Because this one looks like it's a double, not just a single span. There's a, there's a, it's got abutments in the middle, too, so I'm not sure about that. It's kind of hard sometimes with these covered bridges. Yeah, this, this, this will be the first one that has a middle stone abutment in the middle. Instead of just at the ends, you see one in the middle there. All right, this is part of the Antrim Township Community Park, I believe. So it is public, you're allowed to be here. This bridge is not accessible to vehicles anymore though. Just foot traffic and bicycle traffic. It's better off to approach it from this end, the east end, rather than the, the west end over there. All right. Yeah, Martin's Mill Bridge. I forgot to tell you the name of it. Built in 1849. So as we walk in, you should be able to notice right away a different design style to this bridge than the ones we've been on so far. If you've been paying attention. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful in here though. You notice there's something missing. It doesn't have that, that arch that the others have. That arched burr, the burr arch. It just has these, it's like a lattice work of trusses. So sometimes this is called a lattice truss. It's often referred to as a town truss bridge too, named after Ithiel Town. There's a name for you, Ithiel. I believe I'm saying that right. Ithiel Town, he patented this design back in 1820. This floor is a little bit different too. It's got some gaps in it. You can see the water below. Yeah, so different. It's nice to see a different design than what we've been seeing. It's actually really, it's got a beauty to it. That lattice work. That's a cool shot there looking back. Yeah, I'm actually really liking this design, to be honest. Because all the engineering on these bridges is cool, but this is, I like this. This bridge is a lot noisier too to walk across. Unless some of the boards are loose. It's that one I just walked on right here. Yeah, that's loose. All right. It's okay, though. And here's looking at it from the other side. Beautiful day, the birds are singing out there. It almost feels like spring. It's cool, got old millstone sitting there. Yeah, so this bridge was greatly damaged. Back in 1972, um, Hurricane Agnes came through, and uh, apparently this bridge was lifted off of its abutments here and carried downstream a ways. I'm not sure how far, maybe just. Not, probably not too far because there's trees over there, but maybe just lift it up, carry it off down a bit. So they had to do a lot of repairs to it. But even with those repairs, I think still two-thirds of the timbers are still the original timbers. Even with all the repairs and putting it back up here where it belongs. You imagine the power of that force to just take this whole bridge and lift it up off the stone abutments and carry it downstream a bit. Thank you. 
Yeah, and as I'm walking along here, I'm thinking about placing a channel sticker here at this bridge too. I, was like, I, I placed one earlier today, that big mountain overlook. But this place is, this spot is beautiful here. This lattice work in here. Look at that, awesome shot back there, looking down there. So yeah, maybe I'll place a sticker here somewhere too. Just have to find a place. I still have plenty of them to put out, so might as well. All right, I love this bridge. There's looking back again. That's awesome. All right, so back across. But let's just quick walk down here a little bit so we can take a get a view of this bridge from the from the side. A little bit here. Turn around here in a moment. Let's turn around here. There you can kind of see it's in its all its glory there, its whole length across the the river. I think this is the Licking Creek. It's called. There's a name for you. All right, so I have channel sticker number 43 here. Of course, we're on this side of the bridge, the, uh, the east side by the park. And as soon as you walk in, on the left side, here's the trash can. And then there's the lattice work there. This last work here, right behind here, there's some, I think it says carry there, <laughs> carved in. I'm gonna place this sticker and wedge it in behind can see it down there. I'm going to wedge it in behind the timbers back here so it won't fall out. And that's where it's going to be. I'll try to fix it a little bit more. That's where it's going to be, right behind carry. And as with all those channel stickers, you know, if you are the one to find it, if you go ahead and send me a message, send me a picture of you finding it, that'd be great. That way I can let other people know it's been found and I can share that picture in a future video. I saw it wedged in there pretty good. Come here, it's right by the trash can at the entrance here. It should stay there, down in here. All right. Yeah, one other thing I wanna mention about this, this design quick before we head out. So this lattice work or this town truss design was designed to be built a little bit cheaper, a little bit easier, not necessarily less strong, but you're just using you know, simple straight planks that you're putting at angles and stuff. The other design, the burr truss, that arch was a little bit more difficult to make. You had to have better craftsmen, better woodworkers. Those guys cost more money. So this, this design was meant to be a little more cost effective, cost effective and easier for folks to make. It wasn't necessarily cheaper in quality though. It was just a little bit easier to make with, the type, with these types of beams. The other one's a little more complicated in some ways. The one, that was one purpose for this design. It's kind of an alternative. All right. I kind of like it though. <laughs> All right. And we'll just make our way back out again. Of course, over there is the channel sticker behind Carrie. And we'll take one last look back. This has a cool view with that, that lattice work all the way down through. All right, so awesome bridge back there. Got the sun in my eyes. But I, I probably, th if I haven't thrown up a map already, I will throw up a map now showing you where on Google Maps this bridge is located. So we are, we are done with all the covered bridges in Franklin County now. Just two of them there. But yeah, might be close to being my favorite so far. Just with the length and that different design. It might be just because it's a, diff a different design than what we've had already. It's a little bit early to have a favorite. So we've done like, I've done like five bridges out of like 200 already, or only five out of 200. So there's a lot more to go in this series. All right, it's time to head home. Oh, actually, you know, I have one more bridge to do. Uh, the Witherspoon Bridge, it's not too far from here. So we'll film that, film that one yet. And so yes, as always, thanks for coming along and I'll see you around.